Let's think outside the typical breakout box with Microsoft OneNote. We can create interactive and engaging digital breakout games with the Windows 10 version of OneNote thanks to the ability to add or embed multimodal content on pages, as well as being able to lock or password protect individual sections in our OneNote notebook. Let's take a closer look at how we can build a breakout game using the Windows 10 version of OneNote. Now, in order to get started, we are going to launch the Windows 10 version of OneNote and create a new OneNote notebook. So let's say that I did not have OneNote open. I could simply come down to the bottom left corner or the Start menu or Windows button on my Windows 10 device. And I could scroll through my list of apps. Keep in mind, we're going to be launching the OneNote app, not OneNote 2016. Or I would find the OneNote Windows 10 app here in my tile menu. Click on it to launch Microsoft OneNote. Now, when Microsoft OneNote launches, it will launch you inside of the previous notebook that you were working in. To navigate through your notebooks, simply come up to the title at the top of your OneNote notebook and click on the drop down caret. Here you will see all of the notebooks that you currently have open in the OneNote Windows 10 app. In order to create a brand new notebook, we simply go all the way down to the bottom of our library and click the Add Notebook button. And we give our new notebook a specific name. Once you've added in the name, simply click Create Notebook and give that a minute to load. If you are unfamiliar with Microsoft OneNote, how OneNotes are organized are in notebooks. So inside the notebook, you have sections and inside those sections, you have individual pages. You can create as many pages as you need inside of a section, and you can create as many sections as you need inside of your OneNote notebook. Now, how we're going to organize a breakout game is by using sections because remember you have the ability to lock or password protect those individual sections. So let's set up our first section. Here on the first page of my first section, I'm going to provide the scenario or background story for our breakout game. I will also provide any rules or instructions on how the students will work through the OneNote notebook. So notice that in addition to that information, I've also included a graphic as well as an animated GIF or GIF. Remember that you can add multimodal content simply by going to insert here in the menu bar. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this page a specific name. We're going to call it background story. And inside the first section, I also want to build my first puzzle or my first clue that students will solve. I'm going to build our first clue or breakout puzzle on a new page here in my notebook navigation. I'm going to come down to the very bottom of the page panel and I'm going to click add new page to create a page again for clue number one. Now, as I mentioned before, you can embed or add a wide variety of content to a page in a OneNote notebook from text, whether you type that text and organize it by headings, or by using the dictate function in order to use speech to text. You can also go to the insert menu in the menu bar, and here you will find a wide variety of options. You can create tables inside a OneNote notebook, attach files, attach a printout from a PDF, insert pictures, online video from YouTube, for example, live links, record audio on a page, provide math problems or equations, 
add stickers, or embed a Microsoft form. Now I'm going to go ahead and just delete that text that we added using speech to text. I instead want to attach or insert a printout from a PDF. So I'm going to click on printout and select my PDF from my computer. In addition to attaching that file here at the top, it also gives me a printout of the entire file. Now, I don't want to include the entire file because some of it is uh, the teacher view of the clue. So I'm just going to select the pages I don't want and click delete. In addition to this color poster of lab rules for clue number one, I also want to include a brief description and some instructions. So I will go ahead and click on the space below to type that information in. As you can see, in addition to the clue itself, I've given students a hint that they are to use the poster in order to identify the four digits that unlock the next section of this notebook. Speaking of next sections, once I have my first section built and content added, I'm going to go ahead and create the next section for our second puzzle or breakout challenge. Simply come to the section panel and at the very bottom, click add section. Notice that when you build a section, a new page is started automatically. Here on this page, I can go ahead and add the content for clue number two or breakout puzzle number two. Again, I've given students a hint on how to use the material that I've then inserted or attached on the page. I'm going to go ahead and give this page a title before I go ahead and create my next section for my next breakout challenge. Now, one of the things uh, before I show you a completed breakout is you can actually name your section. So instead of new section one, new section two, you can customize the names by simply right clicking on the section and clicking rename section. I would give each section a specific name that will help guide students through the order of the OneNote Notebook breakout game. Let's switch over to a completed breakout. Now, keep in mind, I will continue to build sections and add content until I have added all of my breakout challenges or puzzles. I will also create one final section in order to celebrate the successful completion of the breakout game. Once I have all sections built, we are now ready to lock our sections, starting with our second section for puzzle number two. Please note that you could always lock the first section and provide students with a physical clue in the classroom. The answer for that physical clue would then lead them to the OneNote notebook and allow them to unlock that first section of the notebook. Now to lock sections of a notebook, we just simply right click on the section name and click on password protection and add password. Since I'm locking the second section of my notebook, I will actually use the answer for my first puzzle in the first section as the password. So I'll go ahead and enter that password here. It happens to be four digits. I would then confirm the password and click OK. I would then give it a moment to add the password and go to section three. Again, right click on the section, select password protection, add password, and again, think backwards. We're locking section three with the answer to puzzle number two from section number two. Keep in mind, your password can be numbers, words, or phrases, but they are case sensitive, and I wouldn't include spaces in the words. Make sure you provide a specific hint to your students to help them solve the password. Notice that I will also lock the last section or that breakout celebration, because again, we have to think backwards. We're going to use the answer to puzzle number three or section number three in order to unlock the page celebrating that we successfully broke out. 
Before you lock your notebook, make sure to record each of your passwords in a safe space so that you do not get locked out of your notebook. All right, let's go ahead and actually lock these pages. So again, I'll right click, select password protection, and this time I'll just say lock all protected sections. Once you have set up your notebook and locked all the necessary sections, you're ready to go. On game day, all you have to do is share the notebook with your students by opening that OneNote notebook, coming up to the very top menu, clicking share, and adjusting sharing permissions before you copy the link to the notebook. To adjust the sharing permissions, right now it's set to people you specify can view, but I'm not going to enter in every single name of my students. Instead, I'm simply going to click on this box and I'm going to change the sharing permissions to anyone with the link. I'm not going to allow editing and I'm not going to set an expiration date. Instead, I'm simply going to click apply. Now I can click the copy link button I can copy this link and I could share it to my Microsoft team or my Google Classroom. When students are ready to play the breakout game, they will simply click on that link. I'll just paste it here into a new tab. That OneNote notebook will open in OneNote Online. And notice that if they try to skip to puzzle number two, OneNote will say that this section is password protected. They will have to click enter in order to try to unlock it, but of course they will need to read through the introduction and solve puzzle number one in order to find the answer, which will help unlock puzzle number two and so forth for puzzle number three. And then finally to solve the entire breakout.